Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from Unkert Education here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Jekyll on a Windows computer. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is open up a browser. So I'm going to open up a browser here. And I first need to install Ruby. So I'm going to search for Ruby installer. And the first thing that will come up is this rubyinstaller.org site. So let's click on that. And I want to click on download. And I'm going to install the Ruby dev kit. Uh, which is uh, here, times 64. If you have a 32-bit, you do times 86, but I have a 64-bit computer, so I'm going to click on that. Okay, it may give you this warning. Ruby Dev Kit isn't commonly downloaded. You can, of course, make the decision to keep this file. That's up to you, but I'm going to click Keep. Um, it's going to ask me again. I'm going to say Keep anyways. And this, you know, whether it asks you to keep it or not depends on when this just got updated. Uh, it was previously at uh, Ruby 3.2.2. Um, this is the version that is currently recommended. This is the newer version, so it's less tested, less downloaded. That's why it's giving me that warning. I'm going to click Open File here, and it's going to give me the option to install for me only or install for all users. I'm going to pick the recommended, which is just for me. Click on that. I'm going to accept the license. Click Next. I'm going to keep the path the same. I'm going to keep add Ruby executables to your path the same, and I'm going to keep associate.rb and .rbw files with this Ruby installation. I'm going to click install, and I'm going to keep all this the same and click next. Okay, so once that's gone ahead and installed, it'll tell me to click finish to uh, complete the setup, and this is going to run, I'm going to keep this checked, run ridk install. Uh, to set up the MSYS2 and development tool chain. It just says here, MSYS2 is required to install gems. So Jekyll is a gem we will install with uh, C extensions. Um, so I'm just going to run through this. Let's click Finish. Okay, once uh, we fin click Finish there, this is going to pop up. And I'm going to run through each of these. I'm going to do one, then two, then three just to make sure everything's properly installed. You may get some warnings or minor errors as you run through this, but uh, don't worry too much about that. So I'm gonna click one, hit enter. Okay, once one is run through, I'm gonna click two, then enter. Okay, once two is run through, I'll click three, then enter. Okay, now that that's run through, I'm gonna close this out. And I'm gonna go down here to my search and type uh, CMD. Uh, for command prompt, click open, and I'm going to type gem install Jekyll and hit enter. Okay, once that's run through, and that could take five to ten minutes to run through, uh, we can now create a Jekyll site. So I'm going to change directory into, let's see, I think I want to go into OneDrive, and then I have my desktop in. Check. Uh, I'm going to go back one and let's see what we got here. So yeah, I'm just going to CD into my desktop here and I'm going to do Jekyll new and then the name of whatever I want to create my site. Uh, let's just do, that's going to go ahead and create a new Jekyll site with all the folders and so on. While it's doing that, let's download a text editor that we can use to open up folder and look at the files. So I'm going to download VS Code. I'm just going to search for VS Code uh, and click download here and then we'll download it for Windows. We'll open the file, accept the agreement, click next, next, next. I'm going to add all these open with code and create a desktop icon and click next and then install. Okay. Once that's installed I'm going to keep Checked, launch with Visual Studio Code, click Finish. Let's pin this to the taskbar, and it's going to ask me about the theme. I'm just going to mark all this stuff done. Um, in the meantime, let's take a look here, and we have the new Jekyll ins site installed in Users, under My Username, Desktop, and it's under the folder Timothy Unkert. So let's open that up. Okay, so let's open a folder. We want to go into the Desktop here. Got this folder that Jekyll created, Timothy Unkert. Let's select the folder. Yes, I trust the authors. And here we can see where we have our posts. We'll put our posts there. 
we have our config.yaml file. Um, you can change the website title here. If you are running a Jekyll server, when you change some of this stuff, you'll have to restart the server. Uh, but you can do Twitter username, Gitter, GitHub username, and so on. Change the theme and so on. Um, you have a 404 page, the about page, and the home page, which is the index. Um, this has different layouts and home and so on and so forth. But we've successfully installed Jekyll on our Windows computer. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was and you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.